it's Liz Yule from Old Staples Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. I have a slightly different video for you today and a slightly different day actually. Um, later on tonight, uh, at just before midnight UK time, so 11.30 UK time, I am taking part in um, a blog hop which starts in Australia at a sensible time of the morning but therefore is late at night. UK time. So um, this is just a little bonus really because the main video will be later. But I've had a few questions about the Country Club Suite. Now I'm going to be perfectly honest, not my favourite suite in the catalogue. I don't know anyone who plays golf. So um, yeah, that said, the papers, which are very masculine, uh, are also quite generic. So, just to go through very quickly, um, plaids are always good for mail cards, golf buggies, really. Um, this is obviously very golf orientated because even the images within the bits that you could fussy cut, um, or indeed die cut, um, are golf. The tab, um, taggy bits are okay, but the other bits aren't. But this side is just an argyle check. Ditto, an Argyle check. Hmm, yeah, okay, we're into golf again. Um, more golf, but an Argyle check. Golf and a plaid. An Argyle check and the piece of paper that is, seems to be causing people problems. Um, and the main issue seems to be how to get the most out of it. Now there are, I say there are, there is one example here of one of the cards. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's anything at the front because we've got different examples at the front of the catalogue. My guess is probably not, only in that this features the bundles, which obviously isn't paper, so no. Uh, possibly at the back because a new part of the, um, of the catalogue is one concept four ways. But again, we haven't got anything which is to do with that particular oh there's here there is the plaid in the background so yeah um don't just automatically think that it's only for people who play golf so these are the projects that i have put together using the partic the particularly particularly um challenging piece of paper so this one i did with watercolour pencils and I used the second assortment of watercolour pencils. This is actually garden green. It's a slightly more emerald than this which is also garden green. This is Knight of Navy and is more Pacific Point but and this is balmy blue. Um, but anyway I will park the fact that the colours are not it's probably the way I've applied them. But anyway so this is one card. Uh, they're all the same design, by the way, and I will show you what I've done um, when I've gone through them all. This is the lady card, which I think is one of my preferred ones, actually. Um, probably because it's women. Uh, but this one I did with blends. And then this one, which could be used for anything, but I've kept with the suite and just used it as a sort of scene for the golf cart paper. Now, blends. This, I don't know if you can... No, you see, if I zoom in, it'll come here. Um, let me show you. Can you see what has happened? So this was just straight... Hopefully I can zoom in without making you too sick. Um, this is what happened when I used blends straight onto the designer series paper. So just be aware that you could, if you're colouring on something precious... It may not be a good idea. Anyway, um, right, so I've got half a sheet of the paper, which I have cut at six inches um, of the 12 by 12. So I've literally just cut it in half. And then um, it's really very easy. You just cut that at three inches and then each of these at four. So not too tricky. Um, it's just worth knowing that it is as simple, oops, that's a score tool, so it is as simple as that, and you end up with your 12 um, little toppers for your card. 
So the one thing I haven't tried is stamp and write markers. Um, so why don't I grab a set of stamping right markers, um, famous last words, and um, have a go. I wasn't planning to do this. There's, a, there's probably going to be a crash any moment now. So full set of many marvellous markers. I think I'll probably go for softish tones um, because uh, that just seems wise. That's balmy blue. I probably want sea spray. Uh, seaside spray. So I'm going to do this one um, and I'm going to start, because why not, with the sky. It is quite dark, uh, whereas the blends are lighter. And balmy blue is probably darker than this. I have to say my initial thoughts are that this is probably better either with blends or the watercolour pencils because I don't think we're going to get a good finish. Yeah, no. So for me, this is either for blends or for watercolour pencils and a blender pen. Just be very, very, very careful with um, pilling of the watercolour paper, of the paper, because if you get a blend, bearing in mind a blender pen, and this one's already being used so let's use this you know we don't want this we don't want this but anyway so that's how I've cut it to do the cards all I have done is use my usual size mats um, and then I've used two of the stitched rectangle dies and layered up three layers of the card to make a, a raised frame and then just use the inner one to die cut the the piece. It is a very tight cut. If I turn it over, you can see that on the long side it is very tight, but you only want the inside of the frame, so it's fine. Just, just be aware of that. Um, so yes, there you are. That's more of a sort of top tip Tuesday than anything else, but you know, there you go. Um, I was just thinking as well that um, the many marvellous markers, which are, which are, which are, which are, £112. If you have always wanted a set of many marvellous markers and you get all of the colour families apart from the in colours and you get them in this lovely box, they're £112. If you bought the starter kit, it's £99 and you don't have to pay for postage. Plus you can add some extra bits. Um, and of course you get the free designer series paper, mini guillotine and any stamp set of your choice. So if you're after a set of many marvellous markers and you've been thinking about joining my team, um, that's whether you're in the UK, France, Austria, the Netherlands or Germany, um, why not pop them in the starter kit and save money? Just a thought. Anyway, on that note, thank you very much indeed for watching. Do come back later today or maybe tomorrow morning uh, for the Stampin' Hop um, video, which will be great fun. I know it's going to be great fun. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And if you've found that helpful, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Thank you again, and I will see you again very soon.